In my life, I've always loved acting and doing music, directing, and so these people have really influenced me as an artist and also a person to strive to be the best version of myself and to never give up. So the first person I want to recognize is actually my mom, Sarah Kawahara. She's a two-time Emmy Award winning, Hall of Fame, incredible ice skating choreographer and also a really strong mother figure to me. She has inspired me to work really hard and to be resilient. Obviously with her background as an ice skater, I mean, you fall so much. There's so many ups and downs in your career physically and mentally. And so as a child wanting to be a performer and an artist, she really helped me stay grounded and be realistic with my dreams. I'll call my mom and be like, hey, like I am not doing great. She always says that the journey is surviving and, and getting through. That has always been something that I've greatly appreciated. And uh, she's always been really tough on me, but she's really made me who I am today. So next up, I have John M. Chu. He was one of the first people to motivate me to be a director. Obviously now, most people would know John from directing Crazy Rich Asians, which was a huge box office success. And it was huge for the Asian American community because we were able to showcase our strength, not only in numbers, but just in our importance of our stories. And you're not our own kind, because I'm not rich. I was lucky enough to um, be in Gem and the Holograms, which is a film that John directed. He really was one of the first people to inspire me to follow my dreams as a director. For me, I'm just really inspired by the fact that he's really embraced his culture and he's been able to make such massive moves in the community. And that's something that I want to do for my community. I love the advice that he gave me. The best way to be a director is to just start. You know, you can't wait for opportunities. You have to just create your own opportunities. So the next person on my list um, who is very inspirational to me is Karen O. Karen O is a very diverse, influential, badass artist. I saw her perform with her band Yeah Yeah Yeahs at Coachella years ago. And I'll never forget her standing on stage and she was just singing on the top of her lungs and just owning the stage. And she was feminine, but also masculine. And she just embodied everything that I felt. And so she was really inspirational to me as an artist. It was just really cool to see someone that looked like me doing what I always dreamt of doing. And I haven't played the main stage at Coachella yet, but I got to play Coachella a couple years ago and it was amazing. Michelle Kwan is next on my list. She's an incredible Olympic medalist athlete. My mom was an ice skating choreographer. She did a lot of Michelle Kwan's numbers. And so I would go to the, the ice and I'd watch her skate. And I mean, I just imagine myself when I was younger looking up and seeing a woman that looks like me competing and, and fighting for the gold and winning Olympic medals multiple times. To me, that was like, hey, I'm not going to do that in my lifetime, but I could do that if I wanted to. And I think that's why representation is so important and vital to our society, because when you see someone else do something that looks like you, you see them win, it's a win for the entire community. Most of you know who Sandra Oh is. She's been in literally everything. 
she first came on the scene for me in Grey's Anatomy. She was like one of my favorite characters in Grey's Anatomy. You're my person. I need you alive. You make me brave. I'll never forget when she was the first woman of Asian descent to win Best Actress in a TV drama at the Golden Globes, and I was so emotional. I'm always telling people, I'm like, there's not enough Asian American actors on the screen. And like, you never get to see them shine the way Sandra Oh has been able to shine. And so by her shining and sharing her light has ignited and lit this entire path of future actors that dream to be a leading lady. Every single person that I'm, I'm speaking about today they have this resilience and this power to not give up and to really share their story. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.